What up, though? I'm about to show y'all how to access Outputs Arcade Loop Library. It's dope, all right? So I have an empty group. And I'm on sound one because that's where I'm going to load up Arcade. So you want to make sure you're on sound, okay? So right here it says sound. Going to go to the channel strip. And you're going to click add. And we're going to just search for output. And then you go to Arcade VST. You got to make sure it's the VST option. And you're going to go to this arrow, click it, and it's going to load up Arcade. Okay, it loads up pretty fast. So this is their homepage of the different categories of sound that they have. I tested them out. I really like them, but I really love the vocals. So we're going to play with that today. But the guitars are something else, too. All right, so you can preview the sounds by clicking on audio option. Right. And when you click the hearts, that means favorite them. And when you favorite them, you can always go back to them to use them later. If you don't want to use them right now, let's check out some loops. Their one shot is pretty cool. I love this. I'm going to favorite it. All right. We're going to go back to kits, okay? We're going to load one up. All right. So at the bottom, these white keys are your sounds. And these black keys, what would be black keys on the keyboard, are the editing buttons. And you can just make them your own, you know, loop one sound how you want, reverse it. Change it to speed up, half speed, whatever you want to do. You could change the key as well. You see? So you really don't have to change the chord mode. I mean, yeah, you don't have to change the scale mode with the machine, but you can. But by just changing, you know, these keys within Arcade, you don't, it's already going to play in that key that you choose. Click minor. We're going to go to F minor. See? No different sound. You can save it by going here. Save as. And I'm just going to say all the fields me. Edit. Save it. You can always go back to it. All right. In these macros, you can change the sounds. You know, they got the radio sounds. You can change the wave, how loud it is. It's pretty cool. You can do a lot of stuff. If you click this again, it takes you back to the home page that you got your sample from. Click it again. It takes you to your stuff. So you see, pretty simple. I'm still learning it. I'm paying my $10 a month because it is definitely worth it.